Three years ago, I went into this shop. 30 minutes later, I was $15,000 poorer. It was the biggest investment I ever made. I was not from a rich family. I was the first person ever in my family to go to university. Most people would say I'm crazy, but why did I walk into the store? For the most effective Tinder picture and bio ever. Okay, maybe not. You wake up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat, your heart's pounding. You check the time, 3 a.m. You know right away, you're not gonna be back to sleep anytime soon. Your mind starts racing, you're gonna be exhausted tomorrow. You've got that important meeting. How are you gonna get through the day? I knew if I was lucky, I'd be back to sleep in a few hours, knowing the next day would be a complete struggle. Now imagine that it's happening to you every single night. That's what it's like to have insomnia. Now a big issue with sleep is nearly nobody understands it. All you ever hear are things like this. Bro, have you not been trying melatonin? No, 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 it's blue light blocking glasses. You just gotta use this and your insomnia will go away. Nah, brah, it's all about mouth tape. Yeah. Oh, you just have to try CBD. CBD will solve all your sleep problems, don't worry. So if you are watching this video, you probably already know that that sleep advice is bollocks. That said, did spending 15K on a Hassan's Moringa bed solve my insomnia? Well, that's three years. I don't have insomnia anymore. So if you look at my sleep scores from 2021 to 2022, and then look at my sleep scores now, it's literally night and day. I'm living nearly a totally different life. My energy, my passion, my health, everything has changed. However, was it the bed that did that? Not really. So that said, I still think it's a very good investment and I'm gonna explain in a moment why that's the case. However, first of all, I'm actually gonna tell you what actually helped me with my insomnia. So number one was dealing with my terrible mental health. I'd often have negative thoughts in my head. I didn't really have much hope for the future. I was constantly stressed, anxious about work, and I could never really get out of my head. And the truth is I hadn't really dealt properly with a lot of past traumas in my life and I was shying away from working on my mental health. I just kind of thought mental health was something that affects other people, not me. And I learned over time that's just not how it works. Working on mental health is one of the hardest things you can do in life. But if you want to sleep well, trust me, it's key. So if you don't believe me, watch this clip from Matthew Walker. In the past 20 years, we've not been able to discover a single psychiatric condition in which sleep is normal. Wow. Mental health issues can cause sleep problems. Sleep problems can lead to mental health issues. Number two, improving my breathing and dealing with my sleep apnea. In old videos of mine, it was possible to hear my breathing, at very heavy nasal breathing. And in short, I had issues with my nose. I had a deviated septum and I had to get it fixed. Outside of that, I don't really know much about sleep apnea. So long story short, I do have sleep apnea. I've got a mild version of sleep apnea and it affects over 20% of the population. If you have sleep apnea, you can have the most expensive bed in the world, the best sleep habits, the best diet, whatever it might be. It ain't gonna fix your sleep. It's something you have to get sorted out. So if you're interested to learn more, I've done a number of YouTube lives of leading doctors, dentists, technicians about sleep apnea. You can check it out. Then number three, taking responsibility for my life and actions. Sleep is often just a reflection of your life. If you're living in chaos, there's a good chance your sleep will be in chaos as well. How to take back control? First of all, taking responsibility. I spent a lot of my life complaining about my sleep. and Very little time doing anything about it. That's the simple truth. So anyone who is watching this video, kudos to you. You're actually trying to learn more about sleep. I really wish I was more like you in the past because I just buried my head in the sand and mm. Things had to all fall around me before I took notice. So if you're interested in these topics, I really recommend checking out my other videos. All that said, let's talk about this bed. So here's some of the reasons why investing in a more sort of high-end bed, potentially like a Harsons, might be interesting for you. So first of all, when it comes to beds and bedding, organic materials are generally best. They transpire heat very nicely in a way that keeps it warm in winter and cool in summer. In addition to this, I really try to personally avoid plastics and man-made materials, uh, both in terms of bedding, but also in terms of clothing, food, everything. Uh, in particular, this is because of microplastics and estrogenics. These can, in theory, mess up your hormones. And there's 
one of the possibilities that these are the reason why there's a big drop in men's sperm count and in testosterone over the last 50 years. The science is still very new on this, but you might watch this video again in 10, 15 years time and you might may well see, wow, <laughs> Maybe a bit ahead of the curve there. So generally just being careful of microplastics and chemicals is something I always recommend and you get that more with these type of beds. Second of all, it is obviously better for the environment. Plastics and foams simply just don't break down. So if you're very environmentally friendly, you might want a more eco bed. And then third is placebo. Reality is if you make a big investment, you're much more likely to get results. So for example, if you pay for a very expensive gym, I can nearly guarantee you will go. Well, if you pay for a cheap gym, you'll just keep on making excuses not to go. By making a big investment, you are committing to change. And this is why supplements work, and ultimately it's why big investments can help, because it just means you are committed to change. And third of all, the bed is just simply different in terms of level of quality and how it feels, how it looks. It makes no creaking noises, it's very soft. And ultimately, it's something I will likely be using for the next 15 to 20 years. So if you break down the cost by year, it's not such a big investment. So if you think of it compared to watches, handbags, a lot of these cost way more than 15K, and a lot of people don't even mind spending that much money on a watch or a bag, but then they balk at the idea of spending that much money on a bed. Yet, yeah. ultimately, when it comes to a watch or a handbag or a car, does that really make your life better? Are you being a better person because of it? Probably not. Well, if you get a better bed, which can improve your sleep, sleep makes you better. Sleep makes you look better, feel better, makes you healthier, improves your testosterone. The, the benefits are enormous. Therefore, ultimately, to, to answer the title of this video, it isn't gonna fix your insomnia. Hell no. But if you have the means, why not? That is the message I like to get across here. So if you are interested in high quality beds, a bit more affordable, doesn't have to be Harsons, do feel free to drop me a message. I do have some affiliations of certain med companies where I might be able to get you a good deal, or at the very least, give you a comparison. If you're just looking more to improve your sleep overall, you may wanna check out the pinned comment for this video. In there, there's a sleep assessment, which you can take. It's free, it takes two minutes to fill out, and it will give you some useful information on how to improve your sleep. And outside of that, I've got a number of LinkedIn Lives, YouTube lives and other videos that may help you out. So if so, you know what to do. Much love.